What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Harmony. Today is my college graduation. What? <laughs> like, I am in shock. I can't even believe this day is like actually here. I remember when I first got accepted to Drexel, I was sitting on my couch, I applied for like the early admissions, so if you want me to be completely honest, Drexel University is the only university I had applied to because since I applied early, I would have found out if I got accepted before any other applications were due, so I applied to Drexel. It was the number one college I wanted to go to when I was in high school. I went to a technical high school for civil engineering and my teacher was always like, Drexel is so good, Drexel is the best engineering school. He like drilled it into my brain, so I wanted to go there. The time to apply to Drexel was a very crazy time in my life. Um, I was going to visit Drexel just to look around and stuff before I applied and the day we were supposed to go my mom had actually passed away a few days before that and she was supposed to go with us but she couldn't so um, me and my dad went and it was a good day you know it was hard but it was a really good day I missed a I think it was a championship softball game I missed to go visit Drexel and um, it was a Saturday or Sunday I'm not sure which day and my mom had passed away the Thursday before so yeah it was just a crazy time I had to figure out how to apply to college and do all these things so I did that and I applied to Drexel and I got in and I found out, I think it was like January. It was like early. Maybe even before that. I'm not even sure. But I found out through early admissions that I had gotten accepted. And I was so excited. So I graduated high school. I graduated with a award for excellence in civil engineering. And I was like sixth in my class. And I went to drug school. And I started Drexel in September of 2015. I commuted to there, so I did not live on campus. I think I may do like a reflections video all about my experience at Drexel, so I'm not going to get into that now, but I loved it. I learned so much, so much that I didn't even know like existed before I went to Drexel. It like really opened my eyes to how in depth certain majors are like for example before I went to Drexel I had no idea that I would have to learn about dirt okay like why would you think anybody needs to learn about dirt when you're gonna maybe that's just me but there's just like so many little things that you have to know that other people like normally wouldn't know you know like in all majors I don't just mean engineering I mean in anything there are like so many specific things that you learn that you know that so many other people would have never known I think that's so cool so I went to Drexel I did their five-year program with three co-ops so when I was in high school I actually had done a co-op at a company and I really enjoyed it they actually are the reason I decided to switch over to civil engineering before that I had wanted to do architecture so I already had one engineering job under my belt it was actually my very first job ever but that's besides the point so I felt pretty confident when I was interviewing for jobs although I'm like super shy and interviewing is not my thing but I felt good that I had previously worked at an engineering office and I kind of knew some stuff you know so I think I started interviewing the end of my freshman year I believe it was like June 
during finals week is when all of your interviews are and I interviewed at like I want to say like seven eight maybe more places because any interview you get Drexel wants you to go on them like you have to go I went to quite a few and they were all over the place in the city outside the city New Jersey like all over the place and yeah so through that whole experience I had found the company that I am now working at I worked there my first co-op I went back for my second co-op and then I went back for my third co-op and at the end of my third co-op they brought me into my boss's office gave me an offer letter and I've been working there ever since. My last co-op ended last March, so March of 2019, and I've been working part-time there basically since then. After I had left, I was still working part-time at the frozen yogurt place, and my boss at the engineering office was like, how about we get you a laptop so you can just work from home and you won't have to work there anymore? And I was like, bet, let's do it. I'm so excited. So he really helped me. He's great. He's an amazing boss. And I'm so lucky that I work there. I really love it. I've worked there, you know, like I said, since my sophomore year of college. And I've learned so much through them and school and combined together. I really think co-op experiences are so important internships whatever they're so important and i'm very very thankful for mine so i graduate today <laughs> tonight my family is coming over dennis is coming over and i'm going to hook my laptop up to my tv and we're going to watch whatever kind of virtual graduation we are having I have no idea what to expect. I don't know what, what's going on. There is a video I know that we can watch for the College of Engineering specifically. And then there is like the commencement thing. So I have no idea what to expect. But I'm so excited to document it and have this forever. So this morning I got up. I went to the store and I got the ingredients to make these very special pancakes. <laughs> when my brother and I were younger, my mom used to make us peanut butter and chocolate chip pancakes. So they're kind of like, it's like a regular pancake just with peanut butter chips and chocolate chips. So good. It's like a Reese cup in a pancake. <laughs> And we love them and they're like the best thing ever and they're like special to us so I made those for myself this morning they were very good and I just got off a virtual doctor's appointment which was strange but so much quicker than actually going to the doctors so I kind of wish they did that all the time but yeah so I think I'm mostly going to relax today. I might work a few hours, but I've worked quite a bit already this week and I kind of just want to have a day for myself, especially now because I'm starting full time on Monday at least, but I'm going to work tomorrow too. But on Monday, I start full time at my company, you know, so I just want to have a day to myself. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I need to get ready for later. I don't know what the day is going to bring, but I really just wanted to bring you guys along. Thank you so much for those of you who support me. Thank you so much to all of you who have watched my videos the past few years while I've been in college. It's meant so much to me. I'm going to miss doing college week in my life. I guess I'm going to transform to work week in my life, but yeah, it's definitely a turning point in my life and like closing a chapter so. so I've just kind of been like relaxing all day I was watching 13 reasons why 
Um, I painted my nails and my toes and I was just like chilling out. I ate a smoothie and I'm not sure what time it is. Probably like 2 or 3 almost. But Dennis just got home from work so I'm going to meet him at his house. We're going to get some food and then drive his truck back over to my house just so later tonight we don't have to drive two separate cars home. So we're going to go do that and then come back here and then I'll probably get all ready. I braided my hair so it'll be nice and wavy hopefully. Hopefully it turns out good because I just did it this morning but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> As you saw, Dennis and I got some food and we came over to my house. I just got ready. I did my makeup and I put my my dress on. My dad got me some flowers and balloons. He is the best. And now we're just waiting for my family to come over. And then we're going to watch graduation. <laughs> so... I can't believe this is happening. So here is my dress. It is from Lulu's. And I'll probably put my heels on a little bit later. Good evening and welcome everyone. Mm -hmm. This is always such a proud moment for the Drexel community. Mm -hmm. I know I speak for our entire community mm -hmm. in congratulating the great class of 2020 and in welcoming your family and friends joining us today. You know him? Class of 2020, may I be the first to congratulate you on your college graduation and welcome you as the newest members of the Drexel Engineering Alumni family. Class of 2020, go forward with humility. Remember to listen to others who will not always have the answers. Go forward with confidence and share your voice. You have the ability to change Oh, yeah. I, hold, so on, hold on. They had him on, um, on. Facebook graduating last year, though. I mean, he was. In <laughs> Did I get you on that one too? Yeah, you, you just got to cry for the camera, Joe. It's <laughs> all your waterworks again. <laughs> Oh, we should take a picture of you with having it on. What, this bad boy? Yeah. Ow! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll snap it from that. <laughs> Thanks. I love you. Love you. <laughs> I am officially graduated from Drexel University with a bachelor's degree in civil engineering. <sighs> wow. <laughs> So our graduation was kind of just like recorded videos so that people could like look at them whenever they wanted to. We watched them as soon as it came live at 6 p.m. My whole family just sitting around. So it was a good night, we got pizza and then we took a bunch of pictures outside. So I will probably throw those in at the end of this, but that was my graduation. I hope you guys enjoyed. I can't wait to look back on this in a few years and have all these memories. Thank you to everyone who's helped me get to this point. My dad, my mom, my grandparents, my whole family, all my past teachers, if you're watching this. I appreciate every single one of you and I love all of you. I am so thankful for all you've done for me, every single person in my life. So. I'm just speechless right now, but thank you all so much. 
I hope you enjoyed and I will see you.